Hey guys, today we're gonna finish the genetics lesson. So we just have this one topic left, which is translation. And the translation is the information uh, in the mRNA, right, used by ribosomes to synthesize proteins. So, so this is a cartoon um, kind of showing you the um, two steps of gene expression, both transcription and translation. So just recap real quick. Um, in the nucleus, that's where transcription happens. So you have a DNA, and then, and then you're going to open up the two DNA strands, and then you're going to use this template strand to make mRNA, right, using that base pairing principle. So eventually, you have this mature mRNA molecule that can go through the nuclear pores and come out of the nucleus and deliver that genetic information to ribosomes. So this kind of whitish uh, structure, that's a ribosome. So the ribosome is going to attach to this mRNA molecule, and then it's going to use the mRNA sequence as a template. And again, the ribosome is going to use that base pairing principle as well. And it's going to read the mRNA sequence and pick the correct amino acid to add to the growing protein chain. Okay, so that's what ribosome does. And who brings the amino acids, who brings the raw material for protein synthesis? And that's a transfer RNA, right? So this is what transfer RNA looks like. Um, on one end, it grabs onto um, the amino acid over here. So tRNA is kind of like a truck, right? That constantly brings in the raw material, which are amino acids. And um, so this process will continue, right, until the mRNA molecule is completely scanned through by ribosomes and all the amino acids are added. Uh, and then this polypeptide chain is synthesized. And um, I think I mentioned this before, most of the proteins have multiple chains. Um, some proteins may have just one chain, just one polypeptide chain. So we mentioned the concept of codon very briefly in part one. So the codon is really just a, a set of three nucleotides, right, that correspond with a particular amino acid. So we have already figured out all the codons and we make very nice tables. And this is kind of how you read the table. You start from the left, that's the first letter, and then go to the middle on the top, that's the second letter and then move on to the last one on the right, that's the third letter. So if you have, say, uh, C, C, U. C is the first letter, so you're gonna find C on the left. Second letter is also C, find it in the middle, and it's gonna be in this box, right? And then you just need to locate the third letter, which is U, right, on the right, so U corresponds with the first row. So C, C, U is the codon, that's for proline. There you go. This is how you read the codon table. Now, you probably noticed that some of the codons seem to be a little bit special, right? They don't correspond with amino acids. Instead, they have that stop word associated with them, right? That just means that these codons signify the stop for ribosomes to stop adding more amino acids because that's the very end of that gene sequence. Okay. Now, we have a stop, so we have to have a beginning, right? So the start codon is AUG. Now, the start codon is a little bit special. It does signify the beginning of the sequence, but it also codes for a particular amino acid, methionine. Okay, so it kind of serves two purposes. And remember, when you have an mRNA sequence, okay, and you need to translate that to proteins, you only start adding amino acids when you see AUG. And there could be, you know, codons uh, before AUG, let's say CCU, right? Um, GGG. It doesn't matter what's before AUG. You do not translate them because you haven't seen a start sign yet, right? So you only translate until you see this AUG. And then you start right here and then translate the rest of the sequence. And then this is what I said earlier, ribosomes will stop translation once they get to any of the three stop codons. So it could be UAA, UAG, or UGA. Practice questions, it's number one.
if you ask me, I think there's a low chance that TEAS will give you an mRNA sequence and ask you to translate that to the amino acid sequence. I think that might be a little bit too advanced for TEAS. So chances are you will probably see questions like this, right? It's all about theory. You need to identify which statement is uh, correct. Uh, I have a question here. Uh, which of the following statements regarding transcription and translation is true? A. In transcription, genetic information is transferred from DNA to RNA. And that's correct, right? And specifically, information is copied from DNA to messenger RNA. B. In transcription, genetic information is transcribed to tRNA. That's not right, right? tRNA is used to move amino acids, right? Bring the amino acids to ribosomes. C. Proteins are produced in translation by ribosomes. That part is correct. Using monomers like nucleotides. So is that part correct? Now, what's the building block for proteins? Amino acids, right? Proteins are made up of amino acids and not nucleotides. So the second part is not correct. D, ribosomes read the genetic information in rRNA to assemble proteins. This part is wrong, right? It should be mRNA. So this is a ribosomal RNA, and that's a component in ribosome. Okay, next question. Even though I think there's a lower chance that you will be given a call down table and then translate, um, we want to be prepared, right? Just in case something um, occurs on the T's. So let's uh, figure out the sequence. Now this is the MRA sequence and here is the call down table. So the first call down is the CUG. Now, like I said, CUG is not the start codon, right? You do not start translating until you get to the start codon, which is AUG. So AUG codes for methionine, I'm ET. And then find the next one, U, C, G. So this last one right here, so that's serine. UAA, find the U first, A second, and then A is here. So UAA is the stop codon. So that means you stop translation. Okay, so there's no amino acid after serine. That's it, that's the amino acid sequence. Now I have a note here. I know we only translated two amino acids, right? That's impossible, nothing, no polypeptide chain would be this short, but it's just a kind of quick practice, right? Just for simplicity, I only included two real codons that code for proteins in this particular sequence. Okay, guys, so we finished the genetics lesson, um, and you can see there is a lot of new information added, which kind of makes sense, right? Genetics is a, such a big part uh, of biology and just life science in general. I hope these um, multiple parts of videos are helpful. Please be sure to subscribe, uh, give the video a thumbs up, um, feel free to comment, and definitely share the videos with someone you think that could benefit. All right, thank you, guys. Bye.